Hello there! Today we're gonna do this. This is kind of like a surf candy inspired fly, uh, but I'm gonna use a material that's relatively new to me. This is called crystal flesh, and this is a completely, completely awesome uh, artificial material. We're gonna use a, a Varivas hook, and then we're gonna use some of these fly foils from, uh, from Bob Popovich. Um, really, really cool, fairly easy to. Uh, at least in in terms of, of ma what materials we're going to use, easy fly, and as always, you can you can see the complete material list and buy the full complete material kit on uh, on uh, on my webshop that's called nordicanglers.com. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, it would mean a lot to me if if you would uh, consider doing that. So, well, here goes. Let's tie the fly. Oh, here we go. This is the fly, the surf candy or very close to, to the surf candy. Uh, for this we're gonna use um, we're gonna use a hook of course and this is gonna be the uh, the Varivas STW no ST single view actually um, 1600 really really an awesome hook and we're gonna use some monofilament thread because um, for this it's it's gonna have a head of UV glue a UV curing glue or epoxy if, if that's what you have um, but um, but in order for make that to make that as transparent as possible we want a, a thread that is that is clear so so I'm gonna use the mono this is a this is a vivus mono thread for this we're gonna use a new material that is very 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 cool it's called crystal flesh and um, and uh, this material is, is is a combination of uh, four different fibers three different fibers and then uh, a small amount of crystal flesh and it really is an awesome awesome product for for bait fish and uh, and as you can see there is an, an enormous amount of material in the pack here so so this is also very it would be very very well suited for pikes pike flies and stuff like that the first thing, um, as, as I have done this fly already one time in uh, in uh, in Danish, then I have a, a piece of this. As you can see, the bundle here is, is not that wide. We don't want too much of this material. I'm going to tie the first bundle here underneath the hook. Since it's going to be a surf candy, we're going to have a glue that's covering all the way uh, uh, in the back here. So it's 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 perfectly fine to simply just tie this, uh, you know, just. Um, uh, half, make it into two halves, and then uh, have each of them around the the hook here. And then basically just tie this down. There you, there we go. Make sure that you have a, a bit of room up in front here, close to the eye, so that when you cut this off, it's not possible to cut it completely off. But you can see I have room enough to to actually have it uh, uh, have it tied down without having to 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 have something that messes up with uh, that messes with the eye and stuff like that. The next thing uh, we're gonna do is is use some uh, some ripple ice fiber in uh, in the color minnow mix or in pearl. Both are, are two good options. Um, we don't want too much of this, but but a little of this because this really it, it reflects an insane insane amount of of light and it just looks well basically freaking awesome in the water. So um, add a, a small piece of this, uh, maybe eight or ten strands, something like that, in the middle of, of the fly here to to kind of give uh, the fly a bit more bling, but also give it kind of like a sideline effect. And then we're gonna take the uh, the final color, and uh, the final color is gonna be this one. But I can't recall what this is called. This color, but it's one of the coolest colors I've ever seen. It's kind of greenish, kind of bluish. It's a mix of, of a lot of different fibers. There's a bit of uh, a bit of purple in here as well. And this really, really is an awesome color for for any type of bait fish. But this can can work nicely as a sand eel or or an anchovy or or something of of of, of that sort. And then I'm going to, as as before, I have a bundle uh, ready. Uh, don't be be careful not to take too much material when you tie flies like these, because that will simply make your flies look too bulky and not look like an actual fish. I'm going to tie this down right there. Cut this off as close to as possible, and then I'm going to make the. Head, a small head here, but now we need to add the uh, now we need to add the uh, the fly foils. It's uh, it's two foils like this. Uh, they come on on, on, on a piece of uh, on a piece of paper because they are sticky. They are there is glue on the back of them, so so be very careful when you tie these down that they are aligned. Let's tie one on this side here. I'm just gonna let it hang and stick out to the side so so it's it's easier for me to actually align them both. 
I'm going to take the other one. Oh, there's... Uh, something I need to cut off. There. As you can see, it has a small snip or slip or something, in whatever you call that, in, th in the front. And you can, you can use that to, to tie it into the head here. And I'm just going to check that both of these are, are, yeah, they are the same length. And then I'm going to make a whip finish. I'm going to take my materials here and 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 keep it pull it quite tight and then i'm going to make the glue go onto the sides here and what i can see now if you look on top here and maybe it's not that easy to see but but my eyes are not comp completely perfectly lined. There is about a millimeter uh, difference between them and this fly is... Uh, th these parts of the fly are fairly easy. Uh, the, the tricky part of the fly is, is what comes next because to make this perfect surf candy head it takes quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of work and quite a lot of uh, practice. I have uh, well a few not that great uh, flies lying off to the side here but uh, but I'm gonna guide you through it and I'm gonna give you some of the uh, some of the uh, the tips and tricks that that I noticed really makes the difference. The first thing is, of course, use uh, use a small amount at a time. And I'm really gonna I'm really gonna use a small amount. If it if it really should be, you know, it's it's a millimeter or something like that. I'm not gonna bother with it, but probably, or am I? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna take this one. No, I'm not gonna fix it. It's it's okay. Yeah, now it 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 annoys me. I'm gonna fix it. Well, when you do this, you it has to be right. So I'm gonna fix it. Pulling that off, and then I'm gonna reattach the tying thread. Yeah, you know it. It has to be. It has to be ideal. It has to be as good as it can get. Now I have to look at this side, so it's about there. Yeah, there it is. Ah, that didn't take too long. So that's okay. Now we finish. Got a bit slightly bigger head, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna fix that with the glue anyway. So, as I was saying, the really important thing here is to have uh, uh, have prepared the materials that is going to be composing the head as carefully as possible. And that means you don't want anything that sticks out too, uh, too, uh, on top here because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to add some glue to the top of the head here. So I'm going to hold everything very tight and very, very, very careful and then I'm going to add a bit of glue. Like so. I'm going to look that everything is straight. And then I'm going to shine the light on that to make sure that it is in place. So what we've done now is to have something that is completely straight on top and then we're going to do the same thing underneath. And the fly here, the, 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 the uh, the uh, the foil here will have a tendency to bulge outwards. So what it's 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 important that you that you that you uh, prohibit this by actually taking your fingers and then closing the gap as much as possible here underneath, like so. So so that you have a groove, but only a small one, and then you can fill that with glue. Like this. 
So that's the base part of the head. Now the base part of the head now is 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 done, and then we add a, a, a bigger layer to the head here on top, and then also on the sides here. First layer here on top, and also some of this on the sides. And I'm going to add a bit more, so so we get some on both sides, some on top, and some underneath here. And then the crucial thing is, this is uh, Loon's thick. Loon have three densities of uh, of UV glue. They have a, they have a, a very thick that uh, they have a thick, they have a thin, and then they have a, a very very ultra thin. I don't I can't recall what that's called. I'm not I don't use that very much. This is the thin one, and the reason why I use that is because you can manipulate it very easily if you rotate the vise like this. Then uh, then you can you can get it into into the shape you want and you can get it evenly distributed all the way around. I can see there is a slightly less on this side, so I'm going to add a small amount more here. Like this. And then I'm going to rotate it like this. And this will, this will distribute it and even it out. Also, I want a bit more in front than what it is right now, so I'm just going to try to get it up there. And then you look from from the front onto the fly to see that it's evenly. So you look you look from here to see that it's evenly distributed. It is now. So now I'm going to shine the light while I continue to rotate. So now my head is basically very very nicely shaped, and then I'm going to continue to making a bit more glue out into into the. Uh, further uh, out into the back of the fly here to make this in the shape that I want shine the light and to and to get uh, get the fly to to uh, to be a bit more stiff so it so it, it won't tangle as much with the hook bend here like this and then we're going to add a, a bit more glue to to this side again to stiffen up the fly here Like that. And then I want a bit more in the head part to make the head a bit more thick. And what I do is is I angle this a bit down so that when I add the glue it will it will run towards the front, not too much, but a bit towards the front here. And then I fasten it completely again. Then I add some glue here in the front. Because I want to build the head a bit bigger here out in into the head to get the right proportions and the right the right look of and feel of this fly I just distribute this as evenly as i can like so then again i turn and i look from the front of the fly to see if the if if everything is is aligned and well and I mean, you can do this fast if if you're in a hurry and just want to and just want to tie a lot of flies. But if you want this done properly, then then you need to take your time with this. And flies, that this is perfect, I think. Doesn't it look perfect? It looks very good. So I'm just going to shine the light. And uh, and one of the other things here is is use do not use too much glue uh, all the time. You use use the, the the amount of glue sparingly and apply it uh, on on more turns than than just one. This is easier with epoxy. With epoxy, you can probably do this in in one go. But epoxy is just very very toxic and and not that great a product. Uh, I like this Loon UV glue. It's it's pretty pretty good, and Loon is a nice brand. Just add it a bit more to this side because it was lacking a small amount. Then, let me just see here. I need a bit more glue here to fill out this gap here. Like that. Oh, perfect. There was a small gap on on the under on, on the on the under side. If you that's what on 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 the belly part of this fly, so I just filled that. there's a small gap there as well. Let's 
This will also make sure that the fly is, is there is no air inside, so it will it will sink and fish better. Well, and basically, there you have it. I'm going to show you from the front because of the lighting here. It's it's a bit difficult to actually see, but you can see the head part here is even Steven. Perfect. I'm just going to make it out of focus if, if that's possible. You see? Perfect head. <laughs> So there you have it, the uh, the surf candy, and of course you can you can uh, you can manipulate the size of this. You can you can basically cut it into a into a shorter a shorter uh, shorter fly if you want that. I think this is a great for for mackerel and uh, and sea bass and uh, and sea trout uh, for the Danish coast. So I'm going to use it like this. But if you want it shorter, you can basically just trim it from the bottom. It's very important when you trim something like this that you don't just cut it. that you don't just cut it completely straight but that you that you actually do something like this I'm sorry about that oh well that's the phone and uh, this video is, is done anyway so uh, thank you very much for, for watching uh, this this surf candy video and um, if you like what you saw then uh, then please uh, subscribe and as always um, the full material kit for this fly uh, is, is available on our website uh, Nordic Anglers and there you can also see the full range of, uh, of this very very cool material the crystal flesh and also the the cool uh, the cool ripple ice fiber. So thank you a lot for, for watching and uh, have fun and I hope you catch a lot of fish. If I can fill the flu.